Welcome to the BioWhisperer channel, and the topic today is on the molecular basis of genetic diseases. We will be looking at what constitutes gene variants and attempt to link it to medical disorders. First, we start by defining genetic variation. Genetic variation is the difference in DNA sequences between individuals within a population. Mutations and recombination are major sources of variation. Somatic mutations can accumulate in our cells and are mostly harmless. Only variation that arises in germ cells can be inherited from one individual to another. Mutations may arise from mutagenic agents and events which includes the following five categories including DNA replicative errors, reactive cellular metabolites, mutagenic chemicals, high energy radiation, and lastly mobile genetic elements. Interestingly, while cellular systems including the repair system activities help to reduce the impact of new variants, the majority of the new variants within the 1.5% of our genomic coding regions may not result in a change in amino acid variants, which in turn may not affect function. These mutations are largely neutral due to the redundancy of our coding system. Missense mutations does differ in severity. For instance, Conservative amino acid substitution attempts to substitute a chemically similar amino acid, which is less likely to alter function, whilst the non-conservative amino acid substitution will give rise to a chemically different amino acid, which in turn is more likely to alter function. Notably, the consequences for function refers to the resultant polypeptide which often is context-specific, since the resultant polypeptide can fold into a functional protein. On the other hand, the second type, which is nonsense mutation results in premature termination of translation, where we see that truncated polypeptides that results often are non-functional. Taken broadly, we observe that mutation in non-coding regions may affect transcription, RNA splicing, and protein assembling. SNPs or single nucleotide polymorphisms refer to locations within the human genome where the type of nucleotide present, A, T, G, or C, can differ between individuals. SNPs are the most common type of genetic variation found among people. Although most SNPs have no effect on health, they can be important tools for genetic research. For example, SNPs are the basis for genome-wide association studies that allow researchers to determine regions of the genome that may be important in disease development. In eukaryotic chromosomes, Large blocks of satellite DNA are associated with regions of reduced meiotic recombination. Mutation rate heterogeneity among markers is significant, although the causes of this variation are not yet fully understood. Minisatellites are nothing else than microsatellites, but just only larger, with 10 to 100 base pair. Repeats. One of the more pertinent and most variable example is the sex chromosome Y-specific marker, which encodes for the mini-satellite MSY1. Moving on. The National Institute of Health defines microsatellites as repetitive segments of DNA scattered throughout the genome in non-coding regions between genes or within genes. These repetitive segments are often used as markers for linkage analysis because of their naturally occurring high variability in repeat number between individuals. As such microsatellites are inherently genetically unstable and susceptible to mutations. For each category, satellites, minisatellites, and microsatellites, the distribution of motif sizes, total lengths of repeat arrays, and numbers of occurrences of each repeat category per eukaryotic genome. We will quickly highlight one particular class of repeats that is medically significant. Trinucleotide repeats can be distinguished according to their localization with respect to a gene. Within a normal number of repeats, which varies according to the gene involved, the gene functions normally. However, an expanded number of repeats leads to an abnormal gene product with altered function. Disorders due to expansion of trinucleotide repeats can be distinguished according to the type of trinucleotide repeat, which largely includes the sequence of the three nucleotides, their location with respect to the gene involved, and their clinical features. Reliance on laboratory diagnosis to compare the sizes of the trinucleotide repeats in the two alleles of the gene examined 
will give insights about the severity of the trinucleotide associated diseases. One classical disorder is the Huntington's disease. Do note that the number of repeats may expand in subsequent generations known as anticipation which is associated with an increased severity and or possibly an earlier onset of the disease as in the case of Huntington's disease. We have reviewed genetic variation which makes us humans unique. Mutagenic events and mutagens trigger genetic changes which leads to either no changes or neutrality most of the time, whilst gain of function and loss of function are often associated with diseases. We reviewed the consequences of mutagens before discussing single nucleotide polymorphism, the various types of satellites, and extending it to trinucleotide repeats. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, please smash the like button and subscribe to this channel for future updates.